you're chomping at the bit. Okay, cool. Fire away. I was going to give a little uh, State of the Union, but not not. I'm not going against that look right there. You just fight. You <laughs> like you get in. Fire away. Uh, hey, it doesn't matter. Like I already know what I'm going to say to you anyway. Okay, right? fair Regardless enough. of what you ask. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, first off, coach, just having played Colorado College in the scrimmage, just how different is it preparing? Obviously, that was a much different setting of a game. Just. How different is it? How, how much do you use from that, and how much do you not use just about your knowledge about Colorado College? Well, first of all, um, we are going into the last weekend of the safari, tiger hunting. Tiger hunting this weekend. We had tiger hunting last weekend. Um, we, got, uh, we got a win last week. We got a split. To be honest with you, on paper, last week, we, we weren't as good as RIT on paper. But on Thursday night, uh, the old adage, uh, well, uh, when your goalie is the best player on the ice, you always got a chance. And, uh, and Blessing won that game for us on Thursday night. Um, uh, he wasn't be able. He gave us a chance on Friday, but he wasn't uh, able to do it alone. Um, as a team, we did a very poor job of, of managing the, the, the puck on, on, on Thursday. We improved that, actually got better on Friday, but managing the game, we didn't have a lot of bite in our game on Friday. And uh, RIT plays a 60-minute game, and uh, you've got to play the 60 minutes, and, and you've got to wear people down, and uh, uh, we didn't do that. Uh, uh, we didn't get under their skin until almost uh, the end of the second period when Willie Rhyme uh, hit Barry and, and all the stuff erupted, but that's too late. Like that, Those things need to, to, to happen uh, uh, earlier, and uh, but uh, uh, we found a way to to, to get a win. Uh, our puck management uh, improved from Thursday to Friday. Now going into CC, like we need to take another step as a team, and it's going to be in our play. Like uh, uh, the, hockey's a violent collision sport. It, like, and if you want to equate it to a street fight, like uh, if you're in a street fight, you don't you don't want to take the first punch. You want to give the first punch. And uh, I don't think when that puck dropped on Friday against RIT that we came out swinging. I think they came out swinging. By the time we reacted. Um, uh, it was too late. And uh, so, so we need to play a full 60. We need more hard in our game. Um, we've got some key guys out with injuries. No excuses, but it's the way it is. Like uh, uh, we've got Brennan, Marty, and Cruz out. Those are three older guys that have a lot of hard in their game. And uh, we badly miss that. And uh, the only way we can pick that up is, is collectively through the framework of our entire lineup. We just need more hard in our game. And, and if we don't, it's going to be a long night down to Colorado College. Uh, trust me, I don't forget, uh, I haven't forgotten uh, them uh, 10 running us uh, on that second night last year after we won the first night. And uh, we'll be down there. Uh, it's a tough building to play in. They're much improved. Uh, obviously, you've got the, uh, the NCHC officials. It's like it's us against the world down there, and uh, we better be on top of a lot of things uh, if we expect to have, have success uh, this weekend against CC. Kind of going off what, of the heart. What did I answer your question? Yes, you did. You okay, totally good. Did. I'm glad that what, what I already had predetermined in my mind <laughs> fit in perfectly. No, you did great, Coach. Okay, good. Like, like, yeah. I mean, you touched on after Friday's loss – the physicality was an area you wanted to see improved. You told me you wanted to see, I mean, players in ice packs, like you wanted to see a more physical game. Is that something that's been an emphasis since that loss? Well, I'm going to, you know, like, I, I, you know, you can't wait. If you're in football, you can't wait till halftime to start playing. Like you, you want to give away the first half. Trust me, you're chasing the game and uh, good luck trying to make it all up in the second half. And uh, uh, baseball, what, whatever sport you're in, like you, like you, you, if you start out slow and you're chasing the score, it's hard to turn a game. Basketball, football, ba hockey, whatever it is, and um, so you need to get off to a good start. And uh, you know, hopefully that leads to a lead. Uh, you playing with a lead. Um, and then ultimately you managing the game that you created. And, uh, you know, uh, on, on, on Friday night, uh, RIT came out swinging. Uh, they, they got the lead. We're coming from behind. We're trying to turn that game. And, uh, and, and we just we – got, we got what we deserved. And, uh, again, you know, I was watching um, uh, Kansas City. You guys watch Kansas City and San Francisco? Like, I, like uh, 
I, I don't mind a big NFL fan. I'm more of a Saturday football fan than Sunday, but I was watching that game, and it was in San Francisco. Packed house, intensity, two trains on the track. Uh, San Francisco just has McCaffrey, and they start out, and they're going just like this, like this, like this. But Kansas City, you know, of course, Mahomes is wonderful, but both offensively and defensively, like, uh, they dug in and uh, they Im- Im- imposed their will uh, on San Francisco and slowly over the course of 60 minutes, uh, uh, San Francisco, uh, Mahomes would come down and get seven. Uh, San Francisco would come down, their defense would hold them to three. Mahomes gets seven, three, seven, three. Pretty soon, like you get through halftime into the third quarter, they're panning the San Francisco sideline, and they were a demoralized bunch. They were beat. I mean, uh, Kansas City imposed their will on them, you know, uh, offensively and defensively over that period of time. And, uh, uh, and, and, you know, I don't know if I'm drawing a very good analogy, but that's what we need to do. We need to come out, and we need to punch people in the mouth, and we have to be difficult to play against. We have to know it's going to be a long night. And, uh, and we, we, there needs to be physicality, and the physicality has to be early. You have to establish your physical presence early. You can't establish it late. If you try to establish it late, you're, you're probably chasing the scoreboard, and then you're gonna, it's going to result in penalties that are going to hurt you even worse. So it has to start right from the get-go, and uh, by the time we get to a third period, I want to look down at that bench and see the same thing I saw on that San Francisco sideline uh, uh, during that game on Sunday. And um, so uh, we need more hard in our game. We need to play a 60-minute game. Uh, yeah, we need to manage the puck better. We did a better job of that from Thursday to Friday. But now uh, it's managing our game. Are we going to play 60 minutes? Are we going to come out and – and uh, uh, and, and establish ourselves uh, as the alpha. Hey, when that puck drops, you know somebody's either pitching, uh, somebody's catching, or you're exchanging blows until until something swings this way or swings that way. And uh, I can't wait. I told Joe Doyle, my staff. I told, I told, I can't wait for the first ten minutes of the game on Friday. I want to see, I want to see how our boys respond. With some of the guys on the decor out, how do you feel about the next guys up there? Yeah, it's tough. You know, the it's and not because of those. We don't have faith in those people, though. They just don't have the experience of the guys that are out. They don't have the man strength. Uh, like, uh, hey, our our four, uh, our four, five, six right now. Uh, or pardon me, we got Digby back. Five, six, seven uh, are all freshmen and sh- sophomores with limited play. They haven't been in the in the weight room. They they lack a little man strength. So you you can't. You can't, you know, they need to come in and create a Band-Aid for us. You don't win the game. You don't have to win the game for us. Just don't lose the game for us. You know, so we're looking for, at 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 best or at worst, neutral shifts from those guys. And uh, if they if they can just not hurt us. But like I said, you know, having, you know, Brennan and Cruz, those are two guys, a junior and a senior, with a lot of man strength, a lot of experience, and, and, and playing the game that we want to play, uh, you know, Brennan's a big part of that. Cruz is a big part of that. Jake Marty is a big part of that. And uh, we, you know, we ultimately need to get them back. But right now, like, uh, I got to dance with the dance partners that are available, and and it's our younger guys. We're going to go in, and and uh, 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 we need them to step up. We need Blessing to play well. Uh, we need to manage the puck well, and we need to play a a, a better sixty minute game. Coach. Uh... Guy Blessing um, is another one of these fine goalies that you, you have found. Do you have a formula of finding these guys? Obviously, you're a former goalie yourself. How do you keep finding these really good net minders? I, I don't know what it is, Rob. But like, I'll be honest with you. When it's not just us. There's something about the service academies that, that mentally – toughens these kids up in that particular position um you know toll's our color man and and uh he's deeply ingrained in in uh, all we do you know not uh, not only when was the last time air force didn't have good goaltending but when was the last time army didn't have good goaltending like like I, there's just I, there's there's i think there's something about coming in here having to deal with the adversity on the hill that makes them mentally tougher mentally stronger and uh um, I, I like I don't know. I'd like to say like it's it's uh, 
it's my magic wand and my magic coaching, but it like, like, Hey, I work with them. And, and, but, but there, there's more to that. You can work with people all you want, but when the puck drops and, and, uh, and the clock's ticking on Friday and Saturday night, they need to perform. And, uh, it's great to see guy step forward, you know, with Schilling, uh, graduating. Um, you know, we, we got good goaltending from Schilling before that Billy Christopoulos before that Starrett and, and so on and so forth back in, in, in history. And, uh, uh, you got to have that. You got no chance without goaltending. And uh, I guess I like the, another old saying I have. Uh, you know, if you're an AD and uh, or a GM, if you got a, if you got a choice between a great coach and a great goalie, take the goalie. And uh, uh, we won on Thursday night because the best player on the ice was in our net. And uh, I sleep a lot better. I'm sleeping a lot better at night knowing that that guy blessing. He's got a ways to go, but uh, but he's. He's showing that promise that 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 he's going to the, that he's going to be able to get it done in our goal. Yeah. Uh, he faced a lot of rubber this past week. If he faces that many shots against CC, I would assume that's not going to be a recipe for. Success. Yeah, no, you're right. I mean, we gave on Saturday night again managing our game and all that, and I believe we gave up 40 shots on on Saturday night. Much too many. Like I said, like I'm coaching from from our sideline, from our bench, and. Uh, uh, you know, we, we need to continue managing the puck better, but we also, you know, ultimately you manage the puck better, you manage the game better. Ultimately, you want to play two-thirds of the game in the front two-thirds of the ice. And, and that's where that somebody's pitching, somebody's catching. If you're letting people take the play to you, if they're taking the first punches, if you're turning pucks over, now you're playing two-thirds of the game and you're two-thirds of the ice. And um, that's a recipe for disaster. Uh, you mentioned CC's much improved. Where do you see the improvement? Um, just in their overall depth. Uh, they just, I, I just think that they're, they, there's like, they've got a couple of fine players offensively, but I think the strength of their team, uh, much like ours, is, uh, is the strength of their team is, 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 is in their depth. And the, the same thing with us. When we succeed, it's not because you know, we've got a first and second line of NHL draft choices. No, you know, we takes a lot of different instruments to make up an orchestra. And, uh, you know, uh, we win because we have good depth and, uh, and, and, uh, we're not great, not because we're great individual individually, but because we eventually become great collectively. And that's what we're trying to that's what that's what we're the journey we're on right now uh we're tr like it's all about the team managing the puck as a team managing the game as a team finding ways to win instead of finding ways to lose and uh, uh that's the journey we're on and uh it's been that way for uh for however long i've been here it's been a long time and uh uh more times than not we find our way and we're playing our best hockey at the right time of the year. And uh, I'm very confident that you're going to see that again this year. Aside from hockey, I want to ask you about Halloween. Would you say it's one of your favorite holidays? Or if not, what is your favorite holiday? These are ones you need to ask me about earlier. Um, <laughs> like, up. Yeah, like I, I, I do love Halloween. Um, I like I, – I used to um, – uh, put on a scary mask. Now I don't have to put on a mask to scare the little kids when they come to the door. Um, I used to love to uh, to uh, uh, eat, uh, give just kind of uh, eat all the leftover candy. N now I can't because um, I'm my clothes are shrinking on me right now. But uh, but with that, um, um, I do I do like Halloween. How do you not, how can you not like Halloween and uh, and uh, all the little kids coming around in their costumes and. Uh, um, no, it, it, but in order for the old man to have a happy Halloween, I need to have a happy Friday and Saturday. If I have a happy Friday and Saturday, it's going to be a really happy Halloween. And all those little goblins coming to the door are going to be the benefactors of probably double candy. How's that? <laughs> Talking about candy, would you say candy corn is one of your favorite or no? What's that? Candy corn. Is that one of your favorite candies or no? No, no. Like I'm old school. I, I, I'm, uh. Snickers, I'm Reese's peanut butter cup. Um, uh, I mean, can you say that on TV? Uh, am I endorsing something I'm not supposed to be endorsing? You know, if somebody that with if somebody with power in those companies wants to throw a bunch of money at me, can I can I keep it? Like I, like I don't know. I don't know how this things work. It's the is this the coach's nil? And, and you know, I don't I don't know. But uh, but uh, yeah, no. Uh, I'm a little old school, and uh, 
And my wife is very uh, generous. She she buys, just so you know out there, kids, uh, if you know where the old coach lives, come there. You're not getting those little uh, those little uh, uh, um, bite-sized things. You ain't getting those bite-sized. You're getting the full-size deal from, that's how Carol territory rolls. Yeah, yeah. Hey, I just have one more um, non-candy related. Uh, the Pikes Peak Trophy, what does that mean to you? Um, well, it, it means a lot. Obviously, it's a city championship. Um, and uh, once one team has it, we saw it early in the early on in, in the competition, once one team has it, and when you're playing twice a year, once one team has it, it's hard to get it back because you got to win both games. You know, uh, you, like last year, had it only been one game, the first game here, we got it. It's all over. No, but we had to go down there and do it again, and uh, they stuck it to us pretty good down there. So uh, it means a lot. Obviously, there's a lot of pride in that. It's the city championship, and uh, we'd like to have that uh, trophy here. It's no different than the Commander-in-Chiefs. We want that trophy here. And uh, um, uh, so uh, um, that's on the line. Obviously, uh, we got to win down there. Uh, the way things are, we got to win down there Friday to have a chance to uh, to, to to take it uh, up here on Saturday, and that's easier uh, said than done. Um, but uh, no, it, it like I'd be lying, I'd be lying to say, oh, that doesn't mean anything. You're darn right, it means something. You know, uh, uh, that's why we have it. You know, that's why we have a trophy so we can play for it, and uh, and it's great. It's great for the two programs. It's great for the city. And uh, like I said, we've got our work cut out for us. Uh, uh, two, like I, I said, I'd like to think there were two comparable teams. And, uh, and uh, they've got to win one game. Uh, we've got to win two. And, and to win, to be, for us to be able to win two games this weekend, uh, especially with the injuries we have, we're going to have to be at our very best. Thank you, Coach. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, Coach. What a great ending, wasn't that? <laughs>